All right, let's make it so when we push the buttons on our calculator, something actually happens. So double click on calc.cpp, and I'm going to make this go away. And I'm going to add a couple of lines right above where it says include calc.h, type this. Pound include, and we're going to do q line edit dot h. All right, so then I'm going to scroll down. Now the constructor here for calc, uh, I'm going to push F11. We should be working here at line 8. I'm going to bring this over too. Uh, watch if I do display arrow over set lowercase set capital T E X T. This is a built in function. Zero. What this is saying is the object display, which is what the display is on the calculator, set the text equal to zero. So I'm going to do build, build project and then build execute program. So now, when I start the program, it equals zero. So close this, close this. So then I'm gonna scroll down here to, let's find the numbers, and let's put all the numbers together right now. All right, we don't have any numbers. These are all nine. So we gotta start with zero. So it's an alphabetical order. We need to make it go, this way it'll be so much easier to read. Zero, and then under zero will be one, and then two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and then we'll switch eight. All right, so come back up here to zero. Remember these little things that we did before? Yeah, do them again. It definitely makes the code easier to write. So we'll do two lines of each between each, each function. So zero, and then between one, then two, three, four, five, Six, five, sorry, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then below nine. All right, save. So let's go here in the zero function. Let's do display. And we'll do the same thing set text function equal to zero. Copy that, and we'll put this also, the same code, in 1. So we'll set the text equal to 1. And save it. Build, and then do build. Then build and execute. 1. See, there is a fundamental problem with this. If I were to push 1 a bunch of times, it doesn't show up. So what we need to do is we need to have a string that's going to be constantly accumulating numbers. So right here, underneath calc.h, I'm going to declare a string, and I'm going to call it c. I'm going to come down here into my constructor, and I'm going to make c equal nothing. Then I'm going to scroll back down into my code to where my numbers are. And let's just say I'm here at, um, at 1. So right above 1, I will do c equals c plus 1, and then set text equal to c. And I'm going to copy all of this code for each one. So I'm going to go into 2, paste that, but I'm going to change that to a 2, and keep going all the way down. Three. Four, five, seven, eight, one more, nine. Let's, uh, 
build this and then execute this. See what happens. <gasps> Ooh, I got some errors. C was not declared in this scope. Let's see why not. It says that for all of them. Aha! I have to uh, pound include string dot h build. Sorry about that. Oh, wait, wait, that wasn't it. Oh, using namespace std. <laughs> All right, that should work. It does. So let me go, let me run this, and let's see what happens. We'll do six. Ooh, but it just prints out C. Hmm. And this is because we actually have this encased in quotation marks. That's no good. That's just supposed to be C, like a variable C. So let me run through all this code and fix my little error that I have. All right. Let me do uh, another build and execute nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, one, two, three. So it keeps accumulating numbers, except for uh, except for a zero. Zero is going to be a special condition. So we're going to go into the zero function. Let me close this so we have some space inside the zero function here. I'm going to type the following: if C does not equal nothing. Do open, close, and then before display, C equals C plus zero. Now to explain that, if you have nothing in the calculator, if you push zero, it does nothing. So the zero will be there by default, because when you actually set the program up in the beginning, it sends a zero. So now it's saying after all numbers, concatenate a zero to the end. So do build, execute program. So we got nine, zero, one, two, zero. For some reason, let me take a look at zero real quick. Aha, because zero, instead of set text zero, set text C. And that's line 52 in the zero function. So I'll do build project and then build execute. So zero, zero, it doesn't do anything. Three, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent. Close that. So now we have our buttons working. We're going to come back in the next one and keep working on this.